Coach Chow, um, Coach, what do you think about today's uh, practice? Well, it was fun. It was fun to be here. It was a, a privilege to be here. I thought our guys worked hard. We're still <laughs> making some mental type errors that we, we have to eliminate. But I thought the energy was good. It was nice to be out here and take the game to the people in Kauai. And then uh, we're awfully glad we were able to do it. You know, this is uh, your second year um, island hopping. Uh, the team has done this for the past several years. You know, how important is it for the, um, to reach out to the neighbor island fans? Well, I think, you know, you hear so many comments about some of these fellows that uh, families that go over to play, uh, have season tickets, they go to Honolulu each week, so it's nice to, nice to, you know, allow them to see us practice a little bit. Uh, those that are watching on television, oceanic television, I think that helps. So it all helps, and, and we, we want to make them feel that we're representative of this entire state. We're the only Division One team in the, in the state that plays football, so we have to we have to respect that and, and hope they can feel good about how we represent them. Yeah, two of your um, star players um, or key players are, are from this island in uh, Saui and uh, in Sean Shigematsui. Talk about those guys. Oh, they're 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 awfully excited to be home. They're both, you know, they need to be our leaders. Saui needs to get healthier and be one of our leaders on defense. Uh, Shig is one of our leaders on offense. Their parents have been unbelievable in their in their hospitality, and, and it's just fun to allow them to come home. And you know, they're they're both older guys, and, and uh, it's nice to see them feel what what Kauai is all about. Okay, we're here at defensive lineman Saui Matangiese from Kauai. Um, Saui, how is it to be back uh, in your hometown? Uh, feels good, you know, real good. It's uh, different when your family's sitting in the stands now again. Yeah, I know it's just practice or everything, but uh, it's just also feeling to look up and see all the familiar faces that I've seen before. How important is it to be, um, you know, for um, the Warriors to come out and reach out to their neighbor, neighbor island uh, fans and supporters? Um, I think it's really important, especially because, uh, you know, not a lot of guys can just drive over or, you know, it's not that easy just to take a, take a flight over to Wawa just to watch the game you know, every weekend. So for us to really bring everything to them is really an inspiration, especially on the kids. The kids, is a, it's a big thing for the kids to, you know what I mean, come and watch too much practice. Everyone's like, oh, their eyes are open. You know, I helped out some of the teams out here, and even when I just, it's just me showing up, they're just very excited to see me. So when we bring the whole team over, now everyone's eyes are just open. They're asking, 
We're trying to get around all the boys. Some of them are trying to sneak in the locker rooms. But I think it's just real good that they get exposed to stuff like that. What was the biggest thing you guys got out of practice today? Um, I think for our defense, especially starting off slow, I mean, getting back into uh, like how season, how we got to get on playing, we got to take off travel, and then you got to wake up and play the next day. I think it's just uh, for the younger guys that have never done it before, it's just a quick eye-opener of you know, what to expect. And like, in the beginning of practice, defense started off slow, offense is quick getting after us, and you know we have to switch that tempo. Everyone had to wake up, you know, get everything going, you know, pick it back up. And I mean, we shouldn't start off um, slow, but you know, in the long run, we ended up working out well. We got everything rolling again. Good. Thanks.